Okay, so I just saw the Sonic movie, which came out today uh, in the UK, and I believe at the same time in the US, on a Valentine's Day. Yeah, bit weird of a release date, but uh, yeah, so this film was obviously, you know, had quite a lot of uh, behind-the-scenes issues. For example, obviously, the most famous thing is the redesign of Sonic and the animation team having to re-animate everything. Um... Yeah, I believe though the budget was actually only an extra $5 million, which, you know, seems like a lot to you and me, but for a film budget, yeah, not too much, but the film is over budget as it is at a, I think it's over about $100 million budget, which is quite a lot for something like this, especially a Sonic movie. And it looks, you know, it is predicted to make a loss, unfortunately. We'll soon see whether it does or doesn't. Which is a shame because actually... Uh, this movie was actually decent. I'm not going to say it's amazing. I'm not going to say it's the best thing ever. But actually, I, it was an enjoyable film. I actually really enjoyed this uh, film. It wasn't, you know, an amazing book. And it's nothing you haven't seen before. I mean, it's basically, you know, a buddy road trip movie... For the most part, until literally the, the final act where Sonic and Eggman, or Dr. Robotnik, finally fight at the end in the la in the final act of the film. But the rest of it is mostly just a road trip film. And it's not a bad one. It isn't bad. Um, yeah. And Sonic looks... To us, it looks he looks great. And it's a shame the animation company who animated him unfortunately went bankrupt and went out of business which is a shame after all the hard work the animators had put into it and all the sleepless nights that they had having to animate it because he does look great and actually the special effects look really good actually the CGI while obvious in some places to be honest, it doesn't look that bad in this film it doesn't look you know so obvious that things are CGI in some places. I mean, you know it is, but it doesn't look awful. I would say the only time Sonic looked fake, like actually fake, um, is whenever he is being held by another character. There's a couple of scenes where Sonic um, is unconscious and he's being carried um, around, and that is the only part where I would say he looked particularly fake. Um, yeah, other than that, just, he just looks uh, pretty good throughout. Um, I don't really have a lot to say about this film. I don't really want to give away too much, although I will say the trailer gives away far too much. In fact, um, one of the final shots of the film, for example, um, the bit where you see Jim Carrey's Eggman as, you know, more traditional Eggman being bold with the moustache. That is after um, the... That's a mid-credits scene. That is a scene through through the mid-credits. So, yeah, if you're hoping to get some of that in this film, no, it's just that one... It's just one little scene. So, unfortunately not. And also, I'm sure you've seen in, the tri in a trailer that was released recently, t The Tales... Teaser, and basically what you see in the trailer, you don't see much more of in the film either. So that's, so again, was in the mid-credits as well. You just see Teal's, so, and, yeah, meh. Um, in terms of Sonic, uh, his personality, he does have, you know, that bit of uh, cockiness, but it's toned down quite a lot in the film to make him more likeable so he's not going to be as cocky or as sarcastic as he is in the games or at least the modern games it's pretty much you know toned down quite a bit it is there but it is toned down uh, quite a bit to make him more likeable and as for the rest of the cast just um no one really st stood out as to us there's not a lot of characters that actually matter Watching this, the person who stole the show 
was Jim Carrey. Of course it was going to be Jim Carrey who stole the show with this. Everyone, you know, most of them realise, yeah, this is, you know, a, ki- a kid's um, film and everything. So basically they play it like that. Jim Carrey was in a different film, uh, in a different world probably, because he he was doing Jim Carrey. And to be honest, this was uh, like vintage Jim Carrey. This is Jim Carrey basically let off the leash unrestrained. I mean, there's bits in the film where he is just dancing uh, while he's working and just doing the whoo voice at times, and it's... It's just Jim Carrey. It's just, you know... And to be honest, uh, I know some people probably were worried see, about him, you know not suiting the character of Eggman or Robotnik, but to be honest, it works, um, it works, it is a different interpretation um, of the character, obviously, and it does work and it does fit this film, so props to it on that, but the sad thing is, is that this film is probably going to fail and probably not going to get a sequel, because to be honest, I would quite like a sequel to this. It would be nice to get a sequel to this film, but unfortunately, you know, it's probably not going to happen. If it does, then great. But it's just one of those films where you can just watch and enjoy it, I would say. It's not a film that is going to be the best of the best. It doesn't need to be the best of the best, but it's just a film you can just sit down, watch, and just enjoy it. That's all I'll say about that. If you want to see a film and just have just to have fun with it, then yeah, I'll say go watch this. The only thing that um, annoyed me about it is in this film they do. I think it. I think it might just be two, but it might be three Sonic death fake outs. In fact, one of them they do fairly early in, around the halfway point, and they do it again towards the end. It's just like no. So that would be the only thing I'm, I'm the death fake outs uh, could have done without them. But everything else, yeah, it was fine. It was fine. I could have done without the running commentary from two kids sat behind me um, who literally would describe everything they could see in front of their eyes going, look, there's Sonic moving. Look, there's one of so- Sonic's hairs. I was just like, no. I was just like, no. They're not hairs, they're quills. Completely different. Get your priorities straight. So yeah, let me know if you saw this on Valentine's Day or you had something better to do. But anyway, that's it for this uh, video. And um, I'll, s- I'll see you whenever I do another one. Yeah. Not giving anything away on this one. Uh, to be honest, there's not a lot to give away, to be honest, Gix. Sonic fights Eggman. That's it. To be honest, Sonic needs to run, needs to run away from Eggman and then confront Eggman. That's the story. There's not a lot, not a lot of depth to the story though. There is, and it's just, it's just a film that you just enjoy in the moment. Yeah, and that's it for this one.